Today we're going to be talking about the Pirelli Cinturato P7, and is it good or is it shit? Okay, so first off about the tire, this uh, the tread depth is pretty good, it's uh, 11 30 seconds uh, from the factory there. Uh, these are run flats, it's on my F30 BMW. They're a good overall good tire. Uh, the tread wear is I forget what it is, but you're you probably only get and get like fifteen thousand. Well, I think my Michelins were the same. Got twenty some thousand. Depends how you drive. You know, I kind of drive like an asshole. So uh, wet roads. These things are amazing. This is where the tire really shines in cornering uh, road noise. Especially with the X drive, like on a BMW, it, it really is a good tire. Like I said, these are run flats. My last ones were Michelin's, and you could tell they kind of rode pretty rough. But these, being the Pirelli's, the run flats, they are actually really surprisingly good. Like, you can't really tell the run flats. You can if you know cars and stuff. You know you're running run flat, but it's not that bad. And let's see what else can I say good about them. Well, let's like get the, kind of the cons. Uh, price point, do not buy these tires at a premium dealership because they will rape you with the price. I got these at a local tire shop here and I paid, I think, installed less than $900. So that's pretty good. If you take it anywhere else, like a Beamer or Mercedes dealership, man, they're, they're going to charge you like $1,500. So, and then at the end of the video here, I got to put it in yet. I'm going to do one other con for uh, all weather tire in the snow. They are not that good. They're okay. They'll get you through. But if you live in a region that gets a lot of snow, this is just kind of like a, a backup car. I just have kind of sitting around, you know, going a road trip or something, or I need it, you know, I'll take it. So if I we live in the mountains, we get a lot of snow, I always just drive a big truck. So I'm going to try to put a video in here. I had did not that long ago when we got some snow. But as far as like cornering, the sidewalls and everything, there's no like slosh or anything. Uh, they grip amazing, and like I said, really in the wet stuff, it's good. And the like I said, there's no noise. If you're looking for an overall good tire, if you get a good price on these, I would get these tires. And like I said, for they're not a pure sport and they're not a pure snow or nothing, but if you just have a car like this. That you just drive on road trips, take around and stuff. I would definitely highly recommend these. And like I said, I'll try to put a, a video at the end here uh, of driving in snow. So you can kind of see, like I said, especially if you've all-wheel drive, it will get you through. But uh, I don't recommend it for snow. But all right, that's that's my opinion on them. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can really say about them. No, yeah, I said they're a pretty good tire. So let me... Get the snow clip pulled up here. Pirelli's out in the snow here. Let me yeah, clean a window. So it's uh, good. This is pretty warm. What is it? 30? I don't know, it's 31. So the snow is pretty wet and slippery. Uh, I got traction control off and it's gotten drive. And we're just going to see if uh, she spins or what goes on here. It's a really steep hill. Oh man. Oh, all, that, oh a little bit of. <laughs> A little bit of slippage, but it, it like slips and then it grips, you know, it, they do dig. So like underneath here, uh, there's some gravel, some traction. So it's not like real, real, you know, you can see it's clear there. It's not like real icy or heavy snow. I was going to try to do a video before we had a lot of snow and then, uh, it all melted. <laughs> and then, you know, ooh, what the hell? What in the hell is that? It's good at dodging uh, trash cans and possums. Dude, you'll never know what you'll see at freaking four in the morning coming through the mountain. So it was funny, uh, right down over the hill, it just rained. And I was down a little bit further south today and it was uh, 60 degrees. And now it's like, uh, yeah, mountains. Elevation. Yeah, she stops pretty good. 
I mean, they're not bad for snow. Definitely not the best, like a like a winter, like a full winter tire. They'll get you through stuff like this. But if you have like some kind of like you know six to nine inches, I wouldn't really trust them. <laughs> you know, if you get some kind of random snowstorm, we got a couple inches here or there. Let's try the brakes again. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Not bad at all. Let's try to take the track control off again. Here you go, go pedal. Oh yeah, there, there she's digging. There she's digging. So I mean, they'll get you through. You know, like I said, I don't recommend them for full blown winter, but they're generally like a really good overall tire, my opinion, my semi professional opinion. And fuck this weather. <laughs>